one magic cake. They're called magic cakes. And they are also island cakes, okay? So the cool thing, I, I think this is by far like one of the coolest cakes I've made. So the neat thing here is that this is a cake. Believe it or not, it is. And I'm gonna just kind of explain to you what this is and we're gonna dress it up even more to make it look like one of the island magic cakes, okay? So you take a six inch cake, you kind of shave it down and form the mountains like you would like it to be. Then you take a spring form pan and set the cake in the spring form pan once it's covered in chocolate and it's hardened, okay? Then you're going to make a gelatin mix. And I found that an actual gelatin mix is really good because you need it to be firm, a little bit more firm than jello would be. So there's a certain mixture that you have to use to make the form here. And then you have to use paper, a special kind of paper, to line it. Pour this in, make sure it's all sealed, and then let it sit and do its work. Now the most incredible thing about this cake is you can put bits of chocolate that you form into look like shells or seaweed, anything cool underneath here. And when you look at the cake, you can see everything underwater, which is so, so cool. And you'll see here white and dark, um, and that's because we have white chocolate and regular chocolate and also some black uh, food coloring on top just to kind of make them out too, which is really, really cool. So now we're going to take it a step further and kind of create the moss on top of the mountains, okay? So what I have here is some saran wrap. I'm just taking some here and putting it on top of the cake to make sure that we don't get any of this fallout from the trees onto the water, because we want the water to be very clean, okay? So now what I'm gonna do here is I have some graham cracker and some color, some food coloring. I like to use Americolor gel because it just works the best uh, for me. Um, and I also have a little bit of some white gel. I'm just gonna put the white gel onto the top of the mountaintops here. And when I do this, what is gonna happen is the graham cracker that we have to make the different colors is going to adhere to the top of the mountaintops, okay? So we have light green. It's gonna look like moss or trees. It's so amazingly cool how this all comes together. It just looks like an incredible, awesome mountain sea theme here. So we have some dark trees as well. Make sure that you continue to take your brush, put some of this down first because this is what it's gonna to stick to. The chocolate is so hard that if you put any kind of graham cracker on top of it, it's gonna just fall right off. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have wet your stone here, your mountain, with some white gel. You can also do this with dark colored gel too. But I like the different colors here. So we have, we have light green, dark green, and we also have some just regular sandy color too, which is nice. So you just kind of go and place the trees where you want to have them, where you think it looks nice. And I'm just going to make sure I can see from here what kind of looks cool. I love this. <laughs> it's so cool how you can actually create like a whole scene on top of a cave. So like the best way I can describe what this mountain is going to taste like is like a huge old cake pop. So it's chocolate cake. When you crack into it, it's gonna be chocolate, cake, and frosting. And then you have jello. It's like gelatin. I won't say it's jello because it has some a little bit of some jello in it, but not enough to really call it jello. Jello is a little bit too loose, in my opinion, to use for this cake. You have to use a good amount of gelatin. And make sure you have a scale too so you can kind of convert your 
measurements because a lot of this is done in grams. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I cannot get over it. I think it is amazing. You just keep on adding. The more you add to it, the more amazing it looks like a mountain. These mountains are a little bit bigger than the picture that I showed the other day. I think it's cool because you can actually, if you wanted to, you can add like a boat, you can add all these different things. So I'm gonna leave my mountains, maybe just a little more up through here. And then I'm gonna take this wrap off. But just so you guys can kind of get the gist of what's going on here. So we got some cool mountains. We're gonna take this wrap off here off the top of the cake. And you can see all the stuff under the sea. How amazing is that? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to paint the ocean. And you know in the ocean there's like little bits of waves, white, you know, sea foam and all that. So we're gonna do that here. Take your brush, make sure you wet it with a little bit of some water and Take your white color here and go all across the base of the ocean here. Okay, and we're just going to be a little artsy here <laughs> and just kind of paint all along the ocean shore here with a nice thick white gel paste here. And as you continue to play with it, do another ripple gonna look more and more like the ocean. Isn't that amazing and so special? It's so, so cool. So as you add the layers here of the ocean, you can also take another brush that doesn't have as much on it, that's maybe a little more dry, and you can just kind of blend blend it out a little bit to make it look like the, the foam on the ocean shore. And then another really cool idea is you can take some of your sandy beach crushed up graham cracker and just kind of put it there at the line, the border of the sea. How awesome is that? It's amazing like the sky's the limit you can do anything here and the more you play with it the more amazing it looks like an actual ocean I want to add a little bit of some graham cracker at the base of my ocean too in the picture that I put up there was some buttercream on the side along with some pretty little shells you can do that too you can do anything that you want to do with this cake just make sure you take some time, have some time to create it. Because if you have to follow it step by step. This isn't one of the easy, easy, peasy cakes. This one, it takes a little bit of some finesse. <laughs> I was praying the whole time I <laughs> I was praying the whole time I made this cake. This is the truth, man. Okay, so on the other side, the same thing. You can do a little bit of some pretty white sea foam here. Just kind of paint it all along. And you just create such a nice, beautiful sea there. Just be very careful here. And like I said, remember, it's not just normal jello. You have to follow the instructions. That's something I really don't like to do. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't like to follow directions. This is one that you have to, because if you just use normal Jello, you'll have a mess on your hands. So I'm just put a little bit of this here, the sand for the beach. Whoa! And there's our island cake, guys. If you want to win this cake, all you have to do is like and share this video to be in the drawing to win. And if you're out of town, I'll send you some cookies from me to you because I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all are amazing on now.